Welcome, everybody, on our newest episode of the podcast. Joining me today are Glenn, Yari, and Chase. And today we're going to be talking about some rumors that we found on 4chan. Now, I want to start off by letting everyone know that, please understand, as real as it may sound, if it's not coming from a legitimate source as a Pokemon Present or from a magazine like Koro Koro or any kind of publication like that, please treat everything that you do here today as strictly rumor only. Getting started, we're going to talk about some of the alternate forms that have been rumored through 4chan. We want you guys to jump in and let me know what you guys think as uh, we start going through these. So, first one. Pasuian, Fampy, and Donphan. Rock type with a potential of a third form called Orphan, mm -hmm. which is a rock steel. What do you guys think about that one? Um, I'm, first off, I just want to say that was actually pretty damn funny. <laughs> the third form being called Orphan, only because of, like, you know, anime series. But I, I definitely think that'd be pretty cool because I, I do think Fappy and Don Fan need a little bit more love. I haven't really seen them. Like, I, I thought they were going to show up in Gen 8. Uh, I'm hoping they still do with the Gen 4 remix. I don't remember if they're there there, but it'd be kind of cool. <laughs> I would love that. I'm, I mean, you know what? That line definitely does need a lot of love because you know the designs are there everything is there it's just it's lacking something you know you would think that goodyear or firestone would jump on that one <laughs> it's my favorite pokemon so i like them i'd rather be ice or or something like that i think the thing too about it like it's uh th this this evolution form that they have for it to being rock steel so like i i think originally fan p and don fan are rock ground or are they just pure ground type i kind of forgot but the the fact that the hisuian form would later on have like a final evolution that's rock steel is kind of interesting i think there was another pokemon that was like rock steel i think that was like agron the agron line right they're rock steel like that was already a yeah. really cool pokemon if they can turn dog fan into like something agron like or something or like just like as cool i think that'd be pretty sweet you know i also think that rock steel typing would also fit in well with that whole like wheel tire motif that one fans got going on yeah i agree i mean um it's it's actual uh typing currently is just straight up ground it's a pure ground type so i always thought it was weird that it didn't have a steel typing with the way it looks you would think that stripe down the middle of it and when we first saw it in the pokemon movie just rolling around like that i, I, I was convinced that it was going to be a steel type i think that's another thing too it was one of the first gen 2 pokemon that was released for us as well like i think well, at least for the west right because like nobody was this was expecting it like during the movie just like oh my god who's that new pokemon oh he looks so cool you know like nobody knows right <laughs> like <laughs> definitely a fan favorite or at least very iconic in a sense as well yeah yeah it definitely has a, a special place next up is going to be the trap inch line so Ooh. you've got trap inch which is a straight ice type and then vibrava and flygon as an ice dragon type this for me is interesting i would love that uh, i don't know how good it's for competitive then but yeah, yeah i i agree i do think it's definitely interesting and like as a flygon fan it's like I, I would love this like guarantee i would love it ice dragon typing though i think the only one is qrm right so it's not I don't know if it'll be a great typing for battling because it'll just increase its weaknesses, but I don't think it's too bad. I would like to see how it looks for sure, though. Like, so she has an ice dragon type. Like, I'm just like imagining like some blues, maybe kind of close to like, okay, I don't know if Alolan Bulpix is considered blue, but <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking those kind of colors with it too. Oh, Alolan Sandshrew, maybe? Or I don't know if that's more silver, but d definitely, definitely big plus for me if this is, uh, turns out to be true. Definitely up to buy it, but it would be worth it, I think. I mean, you know what? I'm going to play devil's advocate here. I'm not feeling the the ice and ice dragon um, trap inch line. Because, you know you know what? I'm a bit old school. I want to see that dragon bug typing. Oh, okay. Okay. I can agree with that. Too. Yeah, with about... Obviously, with about um, some altered designs. Yeah, I for one, I'm, I'm... I know we don't have another ice dragon type to my knowledge, but... At the same time, it it doesn't it doesn't really feel right for Vibrava and Flygon, you know. For as for as much as it love as people have for Flygon, I think going this route might actually end up upsetting more people than it is than it will end up pleasing. 
let's see. Next up is Hisuian Furret. Not Centret, but Furret. Which mm, uh, they're... I'm, not a bit, I'm not a big fan of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're looking at normal ice typing for this one. They haven't done that before, right? Like, as far as normal types go, like the as like a duo typing, it's only been like what, like normal flying, normal dark, and normal dragon, I think. I don't know if there's any more besides that, but there haven't really been too much typings with the normal type, huh? Like mixed together. So like just uh, seeing this uh furret line, I'm like, I mean, I wouldn't mind. It's probably just gonna be another long boy meme, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> When it comes out, I mean, if if it comes out and if it's true, it'd still be weak to fight. <laughs> Four times weak to fight. <laughs> there, there's actually going to be a good level of competitive. <laughs> uh, actually, there's there's quite a few normal combos out there. You've got dragon fighting, psychic, flying, electric, oh. fire, ground, brass, fairy, dark water there's only a handful that actually haven't been combined with normal yet but oh, uh <laughs> yeah I, I, I i'll be honest i had to look that one up because uh i, I wasn't entirely sure but i was like no that i, I think there's more the, a normal ice type has not been done so okay so it'd be a totally brand new type combo then okay see i don't mind the typing but design wise the first thing that comes to my head is like a ferret wearing like a a big winter jacket <laughs> like, like a hoodie, like a fur, uh, uh, and a hoodie. No, no, not a hoodie. Like um, a big winter coat. Okay, poofy. So, so like a ski like super poofy. Ball. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just having trouble conceptual conceptualizing it. Sorry, English is hard. Words are hard. I struggle. I'm also kind of thinking of one that's like as if its fur was just ice. So like if you take like a Lola and Sand Slash, you know how it's got like the big ice pillars. Maybe in this case though, it's just more like the fur looks more like ice spikes, maybe. Or maybe even like part of it is just like ice spikes and then the rest is like all fur-ish. Yeah, something like that. The next one I'm actually kind of on board with. Ekans and Arbok. Poison fire typing. They need love. Weezing, yep. Weezing got some love. Coffin got some, a little bit of love. Ekans and Arbok definitely got to be next. I'm Should actually going to hit on that point later. Sounds <laughs> good. I wonder how it will look if that's just true. That was that poison fire combination. Uh, what do we have? We have. Um, I think it's Salazzle. just Salander and Salazzle. Yeah. yeah. See, that was already a cool concept, and then the fact that Salazzle got that ability to be able to poison stuff regardless of typing is pretty cool. Like, I, if they chose to give that same ability to Ekans and Arbok as well, that would be pretty cool. I would like to see. I, I mean, I do like Arbok as a Pokemon as well. Like, not not like so much but it would be like at more of the bottom of my list because i just think it was a i just thought it was a cool pokemon i really like that design it has for like it's a crown is that, is that what it's called definitely seeing a hisuian one with like a poison fire type i can just i can just imagine the design being like pretty wicked and like yeah or, or maybe it'll have like kind of like an ancient feel since this takes place you know back then i i actually would like to see a similar ability with ekans and arbok that that uh, Salazzle has, except instead of being able to poison anything, I want it to be able to burn anything. Ooh, okay, okay, that that's sick. That's sick. You're right. Oh well, yeah. I mean, you know what? I like the I do like the typing. Don't get me wrong, but I'd like to see something that more sort of rivals Galarian Weezing, if if you get what I mean. So instead of being like poison fire, maybe be like poison steel or maybe even fire steel. Ooh. Okay, Metal Steel Cobra. Type. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that'd be pretty cool too. Metal Cobra. I could dig it. Yep, definitely. Okay. Let's see. The next one on the list is the Wishmer line. Wishmer Ladder, Next Cloud, Dark Fire typing. Totally dropping the normal typing. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that one. You know what? Cause... I quite like this. I, I'm thinking of like factory esque motif for it, where it's like billowing out smoke, but like breathing fire kind of thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you out of his ears? I'm, I'm I... thinking like um, because of like the fact that it's, you know, kind of like sound themed. I was thinking like maybe uh, the Whismer line would have like the Galarian Zigzagoon treatment and kind of goes down the rock and roll theme a little bit. <laughs> I was, Ooh, that I, could I was be gonna... really cool. No, 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 no. I was actually going not rock, but goth. Just make uh, them all emo. That would work too. Yeah. Make them all emo. <laughs> Is it a type now? 
<laughs> what was that? Is that type now? New typing? Uh, dark fire? No, no, no. He said. No, oh no, 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 no! Sorry, I, I meant like because it's like based around like sound as a theme. So like you know, like whisper, whispers like oh. whisper, loud red is loud. You know, stuff like that. Ah, okay. No, I mean like sounds make sound. Sorry, sound typing makes makes sense. Oh yeah, yeah. If, if they introduce a new type, yeah, that would yeah. be cool. Uh, if they introduce sound typing, I want them to introduce crystal typing, <clears throat> crystal onyx. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> you okay? Sorry, Drake. I'll, I'll try not to choke <laughs> on that nostalgia. So the next one on our list is Mindfu and Mind Shao. Um, I hope I pronounced that correctly and I apologize if I didn't. Fighting Ghost Type. That mm. I actually think is an interesting uh, combination there. I forgot. Originally it's pure fighting or is it fighting psychic? Uh, it's pure uh, fighting. Pure fighting. Okay. Yeah. I think the color scheme would be pretty sweet, I think. Like, just judging on the fact it's like, what, yellow and red-ish first and then it turns into like a white-purple thing because like if you look at um mind Xiao already like it i feel like it could be a ghost type a little bit just because of like all the white so like actually seeing one that's a ghost type like I, i'm just like imagining like maybe i don't know maybe have like some little balls of flames around it or something maybe give it a little bit more of an evil smirkish maybe but i think it'd be pretty cool fighting ghost type that would be like what marshadow Marshadow is a fighting ghost type. Right? Yeah, I think Marshadow is the only one. Yeah, I could I could see them bringing in the typings from legendaries that only have that the only way to find that typing into uh, uh, new regional variances. I mean, you know what? This this is a typing I've wanted for a very long time because I think it, it, there's just so many design options that you can go with, and mm. most of them will look absolutely insane. Well, you know what? Competitive-wise as well, fighting Ghost, now that I think about it, they kind of cover for each other's weaknesses a little bit, right? Because, like, Ghost can, like, counter off, like, the psychic weakness. Fighting can counter off the dark weakness, depending. Kind of cool. That's a cool typing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the next one on the list is going to be Skrelp and Dragalge. Skrelp being a water grass type and Dragalge as a dragon grass type, which makes sense because of the okay. name yeah, yeah I, I would have thought this would have been the original typing i i don't really get where the the poison part comes in any original design this is true i think if you didn't read the pokemon uh like bio right you wouldn't know it's a poison type you'd probably just assume right away oh look it looks like a seahorse maybe it's like water dragon or something right like that would probably be like more of the first things you see or in this case like what you or like how it is now like water grass or dragon grass because of the fact that it is based off like algae and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks uh, looks like a dragon. But I, I for one, as a uh, dragon typing fanboy, I would totally approve of this. Regardless, uh, I would love to use more Skrull and Dragalge stuff during battles. I understand it's very damn slow right now for its original form, but maybe this one can be a little bit. You know what? It's possible this. Grass typing, maybe it'll have more of a physical defense type of stat compared I to mean, its counterpart as special. I mean, the only two we actually have that have ever been done for Grass Dragon have been Alolan Executor and uh, Mega Septile. Uh, that's and that's it. That's it. That's all we've ever had. Well, so while I, both are kind of fun to use, I think we could use one or two more. I definitely would be down for that. So, moving on to the next one Lebebe. Floet and Florgus, which Florgus would be a fairy poison type. This rumor didn't post on what type of what typing, I'm assuming. Are, are they just going to keep their fairy typing for the first two forms? Yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be something along the lines of uh, got that special evolution for Pikachu. When you're in Alola, your Pikachu will go into uh, Lolan Raichu, where in any other game would be a, just a regular Raichu. I think in this case, the same thing, the same rules would apply. Flabebe, Floet would be normal under any other circumstance, but in this particular generation, you're going to get that alternate evolution. On the, on the rumor, it says, uh, I presume that all of you already know Floet's appearance for this game. I think that's a reference to the, was it the AZ Floet from X and Y? Mm, I don't know. That one I, I, I feel like that's what he's trying to imply here <laughs> or she sorry he or she. yeah that's what i was gonna touch on is i i don't like the addition of that you know because 
I'd like to think like alternate forms like Draco said, Crystal Onyx and AZ Floet. I do believe they should be in the game in some way, but they shouldn't be made to be easily found. For example, in Hisui, you'll find AZ's Floet floating around everywhere. It does seem like a very special one, so it'd be kind of weird to see more, I think, for sure. Although what I would like to see is um, Flo Baby and Floet using different flowers and just not different variations of the same flower oh okay oh. okay that would be good that would be good that sounds cool yeah i could they that. do something like that though yeah i mean it could be like because uh legends introduced like the crafting system right it could be probably one of the flowers that you guys would need to use for crafting maybe you know maybe maybe there's like a certain flower you'll need to craft and then you just see like the flababes and flow it's fl uh, floating on it that'd be cool or that would probably be how yeah. you collect the resource, right? That'd be cool. Yeah. And it could also be a way to get AZ Fluet because there could be like an event where they say reach this goal and then you get it through the mystery gift. Ah, yeah, they could do something like that. Hey everyone, this is Future Draco here. This episode started running long, so we decided to go ahead and clip it into three parts. This is part one. Please join us in the near future when part two and part three will be coming up on our rumor review. Thanks again for joining us.